All right, we get the point. So, yeah, I'm a kid, and I'm also a goofball, and a wingnut, and a knucklehead mixed spazatron. <laughs> What's going on here? But most of all, I'm... Hey, settle down. I'm... Take it easy. I'm... What the scallop? I'm a goofy goober! Hey yo, how's it going everyone? Andrew be here today with another video. Today we are going to be doing big news for the week of March 7th. So new set release for both Global and JP, lots of events to cover and the grand final of the 2020 championship series for Banger Zero JP as well as some news for Global uh, tournament series. So can't wait to go through them. Let's begin now. So starting with JP, as usual, we have the new monthly calendar. As we covered last week, we know that Lukie is the rank reward, and we're already one week through the season. So hope everyone is already, um, you know, near Legend 10 or whatever your target is, getting copies of the Lukie that you want. Um, honestly, the new art is really amazing. In addition, we have the event, Bermuda Event Showdown, starting on the 5th, so today. Um, by, by Sunday, it has already been happening for a few days. And uh, we have the grand final on the 14th, so that's really exciting. And then afterwards on the 28th, we have a new series, uh, Championship Spring. So yeah, I mean, if you didn't get uh, get qualified for the grand final and you want to test your, your strength and go and try for it, definitely go give it a shot with the Championship Spring qualifiers. So very exciting. Let's move on to... Campaign. So, of course, with the grand final coming through, um, they are going to have a Twitter retweet campaign. So, this is for uh, if you retweet this, five random people will get 10 packs. In addition, they also have a new Twitter, so Vanger Zero Events. Um, follow them and retweet. And out of uh, 10 random people, we'll get 10 packs. So, if you get lucky, just get 20 packs out of here. So, this is uh, really exciting. Free packs is always good packs. Um, and definitely. A great thing, a great positive for being a JP player since uh, global players don't have this. So, really exciting. Uh, it's quite substantial, even though <laughs> you will have to get lucky. Um, isn't that part of Vanguard after all? Next, we have the prediction campaign. So, this is uh, in app voting. Uh, starting from the 8th to the 14th, you will get this voting ticket where you will vote for the person you you though the player you believe will win the grand final and there will be hefty rewards uh, gifted to those who got it right so uh, more details will will come be sure to follow the uh, vanguard zero twitter uh, the jp twitter uh, link in the description down below and comment down below who you would vote for out of all these tournaments who would you vote for um really exciting to see who comes out on top in the grand final 2020 Next up, we have Die Kaiser. Now, Die Kaiser is no longer once per turn. Now, what this means is it can synergize with cards that help it restand and attack twice, such as Commander Laurel. So this is quite uh, big because, well, Die Kaiser, you know, already got its support in the new set, and now it just got better. And I definitely can't wait to see where Die Kaiser will be uh, or performing in the new meta. And lastly, for JP, we have the Bermuda Showdown event from the 5th to the 15th. It is roughly the same as the Rival event where you're basically doing these uh, these fights against the CPU. Um, and in exchange, you will get points and you can exchange for stuff. You can see an array, a beautiful array of these uh, Bermuda sleeves, whether you like them black or white. Uh, in addition, there is, you know, different steps. Mainly speaking, you just get points. Choose a team when you start. Choose team black or team white. And, um, well, you can do whatever you want with the points, but overall, the winning team will get more rewards. So, both teams, at the end of the period, will get the winning team's title. So, for example, if black team wins, then both black team and white team will get the black team title. But only black team gets uh, the winning packs. So, they will get, I believe, three packs for, uh, for having more points. So, as of right now, black has more points than white in all three categories. There's three different categories for points. So, 
Um, of course, this is not representative of the global meta. Uh, it's just it, it's a point system after all. It's just a popularity contest. But for those who are wondering, a JP Black team is winning. Does that represent global's sentiment? Who knows? Who knows? Maybe it's representative because you're a Vanguard player. Maybe it's not because you have different aesthetic, you know, preferences. Um, I definitely do think that the community can just come together and um, vote prior to this, and maybe, maybe we can just guarantee that everyone will uh, will get the free packs, uh, and you join the winning side simply because it is just a majority uh, majority says kind of situation. So very exciting, a lot of free stuff that you can exchange for triple rare guarantee packs, uh, sleeves, uh, tickets, um, so much cool stuff. I can't I can't wait for this to to come to global if it does. So that is all for JP. Let's move on to global. So for global, we start off the season with a catastrophic outbreak. Not the set, well, kind of. The set didn't come over, but the cards did. Um, as you can see, it was a really weird situation where we could craft the cards, but uh, we could not pull the gacha, which because it was not intended to come to the game. Um, and there are some interesting implications, right? So for example, Palladium, it is a triple rare in the JP game, came out as a triple rare, was always a triple rare, um, but in the TCG, it was a common. So Palladium actually came into zero as a common. So everyone could just craft it really cheap and um, it's really, really strong. Something else that was really interesting was that Chaos Breaker Dragon came over as a triple rare, yes, as its TCG counterpart did, um, but it retained its Soul Blast cost instead of Counter Blast. So uh, what does that mean? That means that in the game, at the very least, the devs have definitely tested the original TCG counterpart um, with the original skills and the original rarities, and then they maybe tweaked it. Maybe it is because they had to put it into a story mode and then tweak it. Um, who knows? But at the, at the very minimum, at the very minimum, we can say that cards from this set, cards from this set, uh, were transported into into Vanguard Zero one to one before they tweaked it. So this is really interesting. Um, and also, just wants to highlight one, once again, like much respect for the Vanguard Zero creative team, design team. They actually did consider uh, valuing different cards at different rarities and different skills before actually implementing into the game. Of course, whether that's like a mon monetary reason, like changing rarity or um, a, a balance issue like Chaos Breaker Dragon, even with the nerf skill, it was still arguably tier 1 when uh, when set 14 released. Definitely still very positive uh, for the player experience. And lastly, there were still some other weird buffs like Monica, which was uh, which had its text say Counter Blast 2 when, you know, in practice it was Counter Blast 1. Um, but yeah, so some visual bugs, some catastrophic bugs, but uh, everything's fixed now. And if you did craft these cards, well, you will have the mats compensated to you uh, or have been compensated to you. I'm not too sure because I, I didn't really uh, craft these cards myself. Next, we have the Experience Grade 4 campaign. This is a team event like the one we had last month. So this one, pretty, pretty, uh, pretty straightforward, you know, you, you do your friend fights with the new set, cards, uh, clans from the new set, you do your missions, and you can exchange for up to one Exculpate the Blaster, and up to three of those uh, packs from the new set. So, exciting, definitely. Um, let me know if you have completed your missions. Definitely um, really nice to have this. Uh, this is global exclusive again, so uh, what this shows me is that they are definitely putting more effort into global events and uh, considering making the player experience definitely unique, not just saying it because they, they need to, um, but actually putting effort into it. So this is, again, respect to the team uh, making progress and uh, recognizing that global players are players too. And lastly, one last thing is that we're finally getting the Bang Dream uh, crossover event. JP had this a long while back, but the reason why is because, well, uh, Bang Dream set didn't come out in... Uh, the TCG, the V series TCG, until just you know uh, a few days ago, as of the recording of this video. So, uh, because of this, we are finally getting this event uh, where if you log into Bank Dream, uh, you will get a hundred of those gems. And uh, in addition, for Vanguard Zero players, because this is probably why you're here, uh, you will be able to submit your user ID um, by March 10th, and you will be able to lucky draw for either 10 gacha packs in both games or one VTBO1 box. So that's 12 packs. Um, that you can get lucky and pick up. So really exciting. Definitely do do the survey. Um, link will be in the description down below. And um, 
again, free packs, good packs, right? Why uh, you can't really complain about that, can you? So for this week, for this week from the fifth to the tenth, you will be able to just summon your ID, and you'll be guaranteeing yourself the uh, Kasumi Toya Toyama sleeve and Pop and Party title. So this is really cool. And uh, of course, as we just said, one lucky winner will get either the ten Gacha packs or the V TBO one uh, box. In addition, you will be able to recurrently do this from the 12th to the 17th. You will be getting the Afterglow one. For the 19th to the 24th, you will be getting Pastel Palettes. Uh, 26th to the 31st, you will get Roselia. And 2nd to the 7th, um, I can't read Japanese and I didn't translate it beforehand. So, uh, Dang Dream fans, help me out here. <laughs> Sorry, the blonde girl. Yes, so. For those who are wondering, the user ID is the nine digit code you see when you log in on the top left corner of your game, uh, right above the version um, of the app that you have. So be sure to load that down, write that down on a piece of paper, screenshot it, whatever, and then uh, fill it in on the survey. Again, link will be down in the description box down below. Um, I repeat it down, but yeah, get down for that. You know, chance to get packs and also guaranteed sleeves and stickers. Very, very cool. So yeah, that is that is basically all for this week's big news. Really short, really simple. Um, not too much elaborated. There are some card reveals from Bermuda because, well, there were some cards that were not revealed uh, before the set came out. So if you're interested in that, go check out the Vanguard Zero database or check out your in-game for JP players. And I'm sure you already know what cards they are. Some, some Forerunners. Um some some other grade one grade two support so anyways that is basically it um hope you've enjoyed again if you are interested most recently i've been streaming my my uh ranked season climb my grind um but yeah follow me if you're interested in that or more big news to come and uh, after the season i'll definitely do set overview so be excited for that probably set overview in a week or so um really excited for the new set uh, for global and as well as we are probably going to get the anniversary campaign so it's a lot of information i have to kind of uh go through and try to trim down and summarize so get excited for that i'm really cool uh, excited for kids and dragon and um tetra drive and die kaiser and uh all the all the good stuff so that is all. Thank you so much. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video if you do. And I will see you all next time. Bye.